fans, Brian Montgomery here alongside Jesuit Dallas baseball coach Brian Jones. The Rangers heading to the UIL 6A Region 2 semifinal against Oak Ridge after a dramatic three-game series win over Highland Park. Coach, uh, let's kick it off by talking first and foremost about the incredible performance logged by Jacob Polish on Thursday. A no-hitter, 4 nothing win for the Rangers, struck out the first 12, 15 overall. I mean, just what else can be said? What an amazing performance from the junior. I think you kind of said it uh, really real quick right there. What else can you say? I mean, he came out and, you know, I, I really hate to use the word dominated, but it, that's actually what had happened. Uh, you know, again, setting down Kay and the first 12 kids that he faced. I mean, that's that's pretty spectacular in such a uh, – uh, in, in, a, in a game one, in a big game one, in a round three series in that atmosphere. That was uh, that was tough. And then on Friday, uh, just a massive crowd here to watch the Rangers. A tough loss for the squad in extra innings, but the team rebounded on Saturday with a huge 3-2 victory. And really, a lot of unlikely heroes were the main reasons why that happened. You have junior Heath Van Kirk uh, really stepping up on the mound. Will Guzman is the DH having several big hits. Really, those those three juniors, they were the ones that really helped make make everything happen and help the Rangers clinch the series. Well, that kind of makes you feel good for down the road, I'm guessing, uh, as far as leadership goes next year. But uh, anyway, we'll go back and start with Friday night. Uh, you know, Friday night games, yeah, we knew that it was going to be big, uh, especially coming off with a big win on Thursday night over there and knew that uh, here was going to be a huge crowd, which, as expected, delivered. Uh, and then, you, you know, it, we came out, and I, we might have been a little bit too pumped for the situation. Uh, but, it, you know, both teams competed. Both teams battled. They had a couple of hits that, uh, that got through for them that we didn't as far as timely hits are concerned. Um, and, yeah, even though, uh, you know, we, we go down there at the last a couple, couple runs behind, uh, the big thing was, uh, you know, we, we stayed in it. We battled. Uh, and again, scored a couple there at the end, but just fell a little bit short. Uh, and then going into Saturday's game, uh, you know, we we knew that it was going to be is going to be somebody that that it probably hadn't thrown in a while, uh, as far as a game situation is concerned. Um, but you know, to get this far, you got to have some depth, uh, and you got to have somebody step up. And uh, you know, fortunately for us, that you know we've had we've had Heath kind of on a back burner. Uh, and throwing in inner squads on Wednesdays and things along those lines and knew uh, that if we got into this situation, it was going to be somebody like him that's going to be able to, uh, you know, go five or six innings for us. Uh, and then fortunately, it just worked out for us where we go into the seventh with a one run lead. And uh, uh, and then knowing that Jacob, you know, uh, he had a few pitches left in him from Thursday. Uh, and there was there was no, no there was never a doubt in my mind that if we we go into the seventh with a with a lead that he was coming in to shut the door exactly and then offensively even for the Rangers just seeing him come from some some of those sources that you didn't really expect throughout the year I mean real Guzman almost sent one over the green monster in Prosper High School just absolutely laced one and then had the game winning RBI to center field late in the ball game and, and his contribution from that DH spot along with Jerry Ken in the nine hole getting the sacrifice fly in the home run in game one just to see that the late portions of the lineup really making an impact is, is definitely has to make you feel optimistic as the Rangers continue this postseason run. Definitely, definitely, and 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 those guys, you know, they've they've been there all along, and I, and honestly, they, you know, they're not anything that we pulled off the bench and and hadn't been contributing for us all year long, and uh, you know, it's it's not going to be the same guy every week or the same guy every uh, every game, and and that's the thing about baseball, it's one through nine, all those guys get to get a get a chance and an opportunity at the plate, and. Uh, uh, it just so happened to be there in the right place at the right time, and uh, yeah, that was cl that was clutch for Will. That was clutch for 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 Jared for those. And and you know what? At the same time, Pete Hamrick had a heck of a game at uh, at the plate on Saturday as well. So, um, you know, and and that's what it takes to get to a place like this uh, is is for everybody contributing and uh, everybody doing their part. And uh, you know, what we we've, we've had it uh, we've had it with pitching and defense and. And, uh, you know, just feel like if we get a couple of things go our way as far as timely hits, uh, that we're going to be okay. And you mentioned that defense. That infield had some of the most spectacular plays this entire week against Highland Park, most notable of which Matt Horvath saving the no-hitter with one out in the seventh with a spectacular leaping catch. But still, several double plays. First inning against Highland Park in game three, a huge 4-6-3 double play that helped Heath out of an early jam and kind of helped him get grounded. Just once again, that's that, that infield has, has fluctuated at the early part of the season, but they're really playing their best baseball right now. Uh, yes, they are. There's really no no two ways about that. And and again, to go back to kind of what you touched on there was the was the double play to get Heath out of that first inning. Uh, and there's and 
it's easy to say yes he comes into that game and he's nervous and uh, and who, who wouldn't be who wouldn't be especially with I guess that was his third start of the year fourth start of the year and to be in that situation uh you know everybody would be a little bit uh, nervous but uh, you know our, our defense again like you said backed us up and got us out of that jam uh early inning jam and uh, you know that could have been costly if they if they score if they score one or two in that inning, I mean, that, that really puts a damper on things. And then we're battling back right from the start. But, uh, you know, again, obviously our, 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 our defense gets us out of a jam. And, uh, uh, and, and, they, and they've done that over and over again. And, uh, again, you know, we, uh, uh, we, we scout for a reason. And maybe that's, that's kind of half of it to kind of put them in, make sure that we're putting them in the right position as well. So. And now you look ahead at this next round and you have Conroe Oak Ridge who earned their ticket to the region to 6 8 semifinal with probably one of the biggest upsets in the state uh, up to defeating Lake Travis in three games after losing game one 13 nothing. So this is obviously a team that's coming into this the semifinal with a lot of momentum and looking to, to keep this run going. And if, again, even even more so the fact that this is a rematch from last year's regional finals. So that there's definitely a lot of storylines kind of going into this one. But, you know, re regaining the focus Focus back on the Rangers. What's really right now? Just keep keeping the momentum going and uh, making sure that this squad can keep this run going. What are some of the things that Ranger fans should be looking for this week? Well, you know, this week uh, Oak Ridge, uh, very talented, uh, very well coached group. As as is Lake Travis. So we knew it was going to be a tough battle going into either one of these guys. Um, and then they had a hard fought series as well, going down to Game Three as well. So uh, you know, I think for both of us getting to this point. Um, uh, you know, you, you got to be good, but you got to have some things that kind of go your way at the, at the same time. Uh, but a, again, as far as we're concerned, uh, I think the thing that we need to take care of right now is make sure that we're rested and that we're ready to go. Uh, you know, you get to this point and you're, you're late in the season. You're very late in the season. And, uh, you know, we, we just want to make sure that we're healthy and kind of slow things down a little bit and get, uh, like I said, get, get rested uh, and be healthy and ready to go for Thursday. Well, Coach, thank you so much for joining us, and best of luck to you. Once again, the Rangers taking on the Oak Ridge War Eagles in the UIL 6A Region 2 semifinal. Game 1 is scheduled for Thursday at Rice University. Game 2 and Game 3 are scheduled for Friday and Saturday at Dallas Baptist University. You can find all information regarding this playoff series and, of course, all information regarding Ranger athletics at JesuitRangers.org.